Good morning, hello everyone. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome to my life this morning. And I want to talk about some important ingredients for your relationship, for your marriage. Are you engaged or you are married? There are some very important things you have to take along in this beautiful journey. Okay? So, the important ingredients are number one you have to take commitments with you you have to be determined that i am committed to this relationship i am committed to this marriage and no matter what comes along no matter the situation around this relationship or this marriage i am committed to it you see when you are in a relationship and you love this person, you are yearning to be with this person, it is very easy to say, oh, I'm very committed. Ah, I'm not leaving you alone. I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. Or maybe you are just newly married, you know, and as a Christian, you've been, you know, <laughs> daydreaming about this. At the beginning, it's very easy to say, I'm very committed to you. My wife, my husband, nothing is going to come between us. But then when you get to that phase, where they call the realization phase in marriage, you are going to have this test of those your words that you utter during the relationship and the beginning of the marriage. At that phase of realization of certain things about your partner, realization of certain you know, habits and character and things, you still need to solidify that your commitment so it's very important that right from the beginning you know about this ingredient and you are ready to take it along with you in your marriage okay so commitment is one ingredient you have to really 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 assess and be determined to hold on to even when you get to that realization phase that time where there's so much struggle and so much issues you just have to tell yourself, I have chosen to be committed and I will continue to be committed to this relationship, or to this marriage, okay? Now, the second ingredient you have to take with you is communication. You know, it baffles me a lot when I see husbands and wives that cannot communicate with themselves effectively. They don't know how to, you know, address their issues through peaceful dialogue and communication. This is a very key and important ingredient in a relationship and marriage. Communication. You should be able to communicate effectively to your partner and your partner understands what you are saying. See, there's a difference between communicating, you know, passing out an information to someone and the person is able to decode and understand and implement all the things you are saying. Let us, you know, this important ingredient let us begin to develop ourselves. Even singles that are here listening to me, start developing yourself. Are you there? Like, even in your place of work, people don't really understand you when you communicate. Seek to, to, to be better in your manner of communication, in your approach of communication, in your tone. You know, seek to be better. The way you present matter. And because it's a very, very important ingredient for you in your relationship and marriage. Communication. Because when you get to that realization phase, like I said, in marriage, where you begin to see your true selves, like 100% of yourself, you will have to get to that point where you reassess your relationship. At that point, when people get to that realization phase, couples who have not learned to communicate effectively, they would get to a point where the things fall apart and the center cannot hold. When you get to that point of realization, commitment will make you to still stay. Then you need to communicate, which is an, also an important ingredient in relationship and marriage. You need to communicate effectively. It is that communication that will help you to reassess your relationship and marriage to be able to become better okay so you need commitment communication and the third thing that you need you need wisdom you need knowledge as men husbands as men you need knowledge the bible say deal with ah uh, according to knowledge for women you need wisdom a wise woman okay be, knows how to build her home so you need 
knowledge and wisdom it's a very important ingredient because when you get to that realization phase where you now see your true selves in all the fullness and gloom you need communication to be able to reassess your union okay then you need knowledge to be able to reunite back as one irrespective of what you have gone through so these ingredients are very important they are key ingredients you have to take along with you you have to take commitment along with you you have to know how to communicate effectively you have to also take wisdom knowledge with you into marriage a lot of people go into marriage with ignorance they think oh is it not just to live with a woman is it not just to live with a man uh -uh. have i not been living with my family members my dad my mom my sister my brother oh. were you um having sex with them <laughs> were you talking about school fees eh? With your uncle and are you planning school fees? Are you training children with your uncle and auntie and sister or brother? Were you uh, managing money together, putting money together? Were you, you know, you know the way young people they just take life nonchalant. You have to seek knowledge, learn to read. A lot of women they don't know many things about even their body. A lot of men, they don't know anything about women, how to handle women, about women's physiology, even about their own self, they don't know. Seek knowledge. Don't be nonchalant. Don't be little. That is what is causing the problems these days. You want to get married at 23, 24, yet you have not built yourself. You have not, you know, gotten all the knowledge you need. Many of you even believe to counseling. You say, what are they doing? What are they teaching? Even those uh, mama and papa say, I don't even like their marriage. I don't even like the way they are. What, what do they want to teach us? You believe to counseling, you believe to courtship period, you believe to reading books, you believe to listening to words of wisdom like the one I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you are on the verge of being drowned in the ocean of life. As you go into relationship, you go into marriage, seek knowledge, seek wisdom. Because they are going to help you to reassess your relationship and to reunite when you get to that realization phase. For sure, every couple will pass through that realization phase where you begin to think, I hope I have not made a mistake. <laughs> Christian or not, spirit-filled or not, you are going to get to that realization phase where you are thinking, ah... I hope I didn't make mistake. I made mistake. But you need communication to reassess your relationship with your partner. You need knowledge and wisdom to be able to reunite back after that phase and become who God wants you to be. Otherwise, if you are not able to reassess, you are not able to reunite, that is what we call the separation and divorce. Any couple you see that now that have gone through separation and divorce, they passed through that realization phase and they could not handle it. They could not communicate, they could not reassess, they could not reunite. And that is what brings the final deaths of that relationship and that marriage. So I want you to take commitment, to take effective communication and take, you know, knowledge and wisdom with you as you go through relationships and marriage. I pray that God is going to help you. That when you get to that point, oh, that point, you will choose to reassess and reunite with your husband or with your wife. So that is what I have for you today. Please do well to share this or tag your friends so that they also can get that knowledge and that wisdom that we are talking about. And please make sure you read books, you listen to godly people who will share words of wisdom with you. This is Matters of the Heart. Thanks for following and thanks for listening. Thanks for engagement. I appreciate. God bless you. Have a nice day. Till I see you. Bye. Stay true. Stay calm. Stay peaceful. <laughs>